Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris and I'm your dad next door. And in today's quick tip, we're going to show the integration of Touch Portal into Streamlabs OBS environment. What is Touch Portal, you might ask? If you happen to not know what Touch Portal is, I did an excellent review on how to use Touch Portal with OBS Studio. And you can check out that video in the link in the bottom, and then it'll show you kind of what's going on here. And then this is just specific integration on how to use Touch Portal with Streamlabs today. So to keep this short and simple, I just wanna say that Streamlabs and Touch Portal did an excellent job on working together on this and the web hooks that are already built into the Streamlabs system that they use for their mobile app are currently being used by Touch Portal as well. So with all the recent updates and everything, it's fully integrated, it's ready to go, there's no setup at all. The only thing you have to take care of is that you have to make sure that if you run Touch Portal or Streamlabs in admin mode, that you match that. So there are a lot of streamers that run Streamlabs in admin mode in order to get better access control or something or get better priority in their processes, then you need to make sure you're running touch, touch portal in admin mode as well. If not, then neither can be an admin mode kind of situation, right? Whatever, whatever one is, the other has to be as well. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you a live situation of touch portal being used and just show you how that's working. So as we can see right now, I'm on a blank desktop here or a blank touch portal set up here. Um, and basically all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go in here and try to create a button and connect it to Streamlabs OBS. It should tell me it can't find OBS right now, right? So we're going to go ahead and close this out. We're going to go down. We're going to open up our OBS environment. As soon as it decides to load, there we go. Open up this OBS environment. We're going to get back into this, uh, back into the touch portal window here. Go to select the button, scene selection, and all of a sudden now we can pick a scene, right? So it was really quick and simple, really easy. As soon as you hooked that up, OBS was ready to go, right? Or, or Streamlabs was ready to go. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a button called Hanging Out. Um, save it. I got to name it. Why didn't I name it? We're going to name it. Where's the name button? Button text. I already forgot to do this. Hanging out. Can't spell today, but that's okay. We're gonna create an additional button for scene selection. We're gonna just do wide camera. It's gonna be my desktop there. So you may be, may or may not be able to see now, but on my uh, testing scene, I have these two buttons here, and basically on. We'll go right into this camera here. You should be able to read that, right? I have hanging out and wide camera there. All I have to do is hit one of these buttons. It's going to go to wide. It's going to rotate that scene immediately. You can see how it did that real, real quick. Hit hanging out again. It rotates it back. There we go. Our touch portal is now working. It's changing our scenes. And you can go into this and you can see in here that um, the additional features you have within Streamlabs, start your stream, stop, toggle options, start recording, uh, mute volume for different specific sources. So if you have multiple microphones or things like that, you can do different kinds of modes. On recording state, that's a really neat feature where you can like add or disable sources when you start recording and things like that. Uh, I hope this was a quick and simple way for you guys to see how to use Touch Portal to its full advantage. Um, I've fallen absolutely in love with this program. I was dead set on getting a stream deck as one of my first major stream upgrades. And then I found this and like I said, using it with an old Android tablet, it does everything I needed to do and then some. So it's been an amazing device. I hope you have an opportunity to utilize it to benefit your stream. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, please leave them in the comments of this video. Again, I uh, stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you guys have any tech questions, any kind of tips, tricks, or anything like that, you guys want to know some info about uh, different things to set up for your stream, please feel free to come and chat with me and let me know. Other than that, my name is Chris, and I'll check you guys next time.